This is our first day of Jaywatch, our partnership with Audubon, where we go out into this lovely magical habitat, the Florida scrub, and survey for the charismatic scrub jay. This is a animal only found in Florida. And what we do to uh, monitor it and make sure our habitat is healthy is we take little boom boxes of our of the calls of the scrub jay and hold them aloft in our hands at certain sites and watch for the scrub jays that come out. So because the scrub jay is so studied, they all have bands on their legs and each of their band color and pattern indicates their name. So you could have azure blue over white over flamingo pink and then on the other side have red and then aluminum. So that uh, that's unique to just one jay in Florida and no other jay is going to have that. So by monitoring them year by year, we get to monitor you know, the, a juvenile that had that coloration that was in site D moved over to site G um, and started a family of its own the next year. So we get to look at the health and overall uh, well-being of the scrub just by monitoring this one species. So uh, we love our scrub jays. We get up very early to come out here and do this with them. And it's three days in June or July, and it is part of a, a wide, a wide survey that takes place all over Florida in I think 11 counties. So here out at Duet it's home to lots of different species but the one that we're looking at today is called the Florida scrub jay. So the Florida scrub jay sort of looks like a cross between a mockingbird and a blue jay and it is blue it's a very beautiful bright blue and gray on the on the juveniles and it uh, eats acorns but the young eat uh, eat caterpillars and other insects, soft-bodied things, and they only live in scrub, like what's out here at Duet. So they only like oaks that are a certain height. They only like uh, places that are free of tall trees. So we have to burn to maintain that habitat so it's nice and open for them so that they can put their acorns that they collect from the oak trees in the, in the ground. And they actually create more trees throughout their lives just because they forget about them and things like that. So this open habitat needs lots of fire in it to be maintained. It is habitat for lot, lots of different uh, uh, other animals, including the gopher tortoise, uh, rabbits, deer, all sorts of other things. So by maintaining the habitat for this one species, we're able to maintain it for lots of other ones. So we conduct Jay Watch every year at this place to make sure that we're doing the right thing.